checking for blow-by in an air cylinder. The machine's electrical power and the air supply need to be in an on status to perform this procedure and therefore must be done by qualified maintenance personnel only. Also, the e-stop cannot be pushed in at times as it turns off all the outputs from the PLC, thus not allowing the proper airflow to the air cylinders for a proper blow-by in an air cylinder check. Since the machine will be in an energized status, the number of personnel needed to perform this procedure is one qualified maintenance person and one person to observe that no other person or persons come up to the machine area to try to, in any way, operate the machine. The safety equipment needed is two pair of safety glasses or face shields. Do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main disconnect switch. Next, Locate the panel or disconnect in the plant that supplies power to the machine and do a proper lockout tagout procedure on it. This photo is just an example of a disconnect. Push in on the yellow lockout slide lever on the main air pressure regulator on the machine and do a lockout tagout procedure on the lever to prevent pneumatic parts from moving. Remove the guard or guards if needed to expose the air cylinder in question and save all the bolts for reuse. When done, reverse the lockout tagout procedures on the electrical and pneumatics supplied to the machine and restart the machine. In this example, we will use the air cylinder on the load arm assembly. Using the touchscreen, go to the detailed diagnostic screen. On the clamps diagnostic screen, touch the up button on the load arm. No one except the qualified maintenance person at this point should touch the screen or any control buttons as it could cause a crush situation while this procedure is being performed. With the safety equipment in place, push in on the plastic ring that is on the air fitting located on the rod end of the air cylinder and pull the air line out of the fitting. There are two air lines going to the air cylinders, one on what is called the piston end of the cylinder and one on what is called the rod end of the cylinder. This procedure also works for the other air cylinders in the clamped position except for the gripper. For the gripper, you need to touch unclamp all clamps and then remove the air line from the rod end of the gripper air cylinder. There should be no air coming out of the air fitting on the cylinder, or at most very little. If there is a significant amount of air coming out of the air fitting on the cylinder, you have a blow-by in the air cylinder. Replace the air cylinder or repair it. Call the MyTech Automation Solutions Customer Service Department to order a new air cylinder or ask if there is a seal kit available. If replacing or repairing and installing the cylinder, follow these steps. Do a proper lockout-tagout procedure on the machine's main disconnect switch. Next, Locate the panel or disconnect in the plant that supplies power to the machine and do a proper lockout tagout procedure on it. This photo is just an example of a disconnect. Push in on the yellow lockout slide lever on the main air pressure regulator on the machine and do a lockout tagout procedure on the lever to prevent pneumatic parts from moving. When done installing the air cylinder, the air cylinder sensors will need to be adjusted. Refer to Adjusting the Air Cylinder Sensors video. After reviewing the adjustment video, reverse the lockout-tagout procedures on the electrical and pneumatics applied to the machine and restart the machine to perform the sensor adjustments. Then, repeat the complete lockout-tagout procedure before replacing any guard or guards with the bolts saved.